Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the Divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. As we saw in the last episodes, St. Peter warned his fellow spiritual brothers and sisters that the day would come when the world would be cleansed of ungodliness by fire. Where do I go? Which one do I go? And then they have no way out. Fire is on our property. We gotta get out of the house. Recent years have seen a terrifying trend in massive wildfires exacerbated by climate change. For instance, in 2017 and 2018, California in the United States suffered its most destructive wildfires on record. Two thousand and seventeen was also Europe's worst year for wildfires, as strong infernos swept through Italy, Portugal and Spain. Adding even more dangerous heat and CO2 to the atmosphere were man-made fires that burned huge parts of the lungs of the earth, the Amazon rainforest, for the meat industry in 2019. Over 10,000 blazes across Central Africa in a 48-hour period threatened the nearby Congo Basin, the world's second largest rainforest after the Amazon. Also in 2019, Wildfires raged on for months in Siberia's taiga forest over a region larger than Denmark. The choking smoke clouds covered an area bigger than the entire European Union. And then there were Australia's devastating bushfires affecting an area the size of England. 33 humans and a billion animals were killed, the sky turned blood red, smoke went all the way across the Pacific Ocean and thousands were left traumatized. <laughs> Scientists say that such fires of unprecedented magnitude will only get worse unless we quickly stabilize the climate. This crisis could likely be what St. Peter was talking about. In his letter, 
The Apostle Peter also said that Lord Jesus Christ would then return to earth once more and carry out the last judgment to separate the righteous from the unrighteous. In the Essence version of the Holy Bible's book of Revelation, there are even more details about the judged. What were their sins? And the rain-washed, naked throngs came before them, God and the Holy Brotherhood, trembling to receive their judgment, for their sins were many, and they had defiled the earth. Yea, they had destroyed the creatures of the land and sea, poisoned the ground, fouled the air. We are destroying God's creatures from land to sea. We cannot say we love God and then destroy His creation relentlessly. And now we are destroying His planet. As determined previously in our series, we are now in the time of the Last Judgment. Thus, the people in this vision must be those involved in today's animal livestock and fish industries, as they have both destroyed the creatures of the land and sea by the hundreds of billions every year and poisoned the ground and polluted the air. Studies by the United Nations and others have found that these industries are also the biggest cause of water pollution, deforestation and species extinction. In her straightforward and loving address to meat business and livestock factory owners, plus fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab test, cosmetics and leather industries, Supreme Master Ching Hai listed out for them some of their wrongdoings that are punishable in the afterlife. This is what hell will sentence you for. For cashing in and living wealthily at the cost of hundreds of millions of humans and animals pain and suffering daily. For corrupting political entities by lobbying with your cash and tactics so they could not speak up against you, being so busy themselves. Thus you are at liberty to maim, poison and massacre our animal co-inhabitants, not just the animals but also your co-humans mentally, spiritually, physically as consequences of eating animals and using animal products. For causing the climate emergency by your heat trapping, methane producing way of livestock raising for gain and ignoring the lives of billions on our planet, including precious species that are in danger of extinction for causing deforestation by chopping pieces of the great lungs of our world, for polluting our water sources, rivers, oceans, environment, air and soil. You turn now because you are also shooting yourself and will drag yourself earlier to your grave by meat-related diseases or and your family members and earlier to awaiting demons in hell who will torture you no end. Then 
白皮肤、黑皮肤，还有黄皮肤等等。嗯。然后等一下，就这个这个空中掉了下来一个，就是。绞肉机一样的，然后那个呢就晕一下子响，然后就等一下就喊叫声很恐怖的，我知道了，然后就把他们就绞出肉浆，全是血和肉、哎，然后等一下这些人都，他们结束这个还排队，这样一天三五次这样被惩罚，然后我就赶紧念五生后和七戒礼物，然后这些众生全部。空了，就那个地狱就空了，那个、解脱了。嗯，然后我就问那个朋友：“你为什么堕到这里来呢？”然后他说：“哎，之前你告诉我吃素，让你改行你都不改，嗯，然后就突然就得了癌症，就这样死了，嗯，然后说我一定要相信你，然后相信你的师傅青海师傅，他就这样，然后就整个地狱就全空了。那天就是师傅的恩典。”地狱空了之后，他就马上去到天堂了。嗯哼，有修复的力量。嗯 ，OK， 谢谢师傅。<笑> Master also said that if all humans don't you turn now to stop the harming, killing, and eating of animals, hell won't be the only consequence. But after all, if you do not listen. No change your lifestyle in order to follow your loving heart, in order to awaken that heavenly spark within you. Then we might perish altogether. You, I, mine, yours, the whole world, animals, humans, will be. Vanished from the surface of this planet. I still hold hope that you will change. I still hold my love for you and all on Earth. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise of His return and renewing the Earth, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone. To come to repentance, Holy Bible. Phân nước nở chờ nhân gian sám hối kiệp châu kỳ. With extraordinary forbearance. Master has been saying for nearly four decades that we humans must wake up and change if we do not wish to perish. She also launches Supreme Master Television and guides it daily at the expense of her precious time, finance, and energy, so that as many people as possible could be informed to rescue themselves and their loved ones. Meanwhile, she has also been meditating intensively for many years and for various purposes, such as to keep the planet itself in existence, thus buying humans more time to change, to make individuals switch to a vegan lifestyle easier, and to manifest world vegan. We have saved some more years for the planet. <laughs> Huh? How many more years up to now? Twenty. And it will counting. It will continue. Okay. 
But as Master recently said, time and patience are now running out for our world. So then, dear friends, since you're looking forward to this, a new heaven and a new earth of righteousness, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. I'm granted more power to help humanity, including you, especially you. But I still wait for you to you turn with whatever is left of my patience and strength. I have enough power, but you must you turn and repent. Because if you don't, then that means you are uh, irredeemable, that you are from a very, very low substance that could not be changed. In that case, we all will give up on you, and you have to fare it yourself. Just in case you don't change your lifestyle, please do remember my true name when you are in hell. Call on Tim Kotu, which is my real name, in heaven, to help you. But I don't think so. That is a problem. You cannot remember anything apart from being in hell and the pain. Is, it makes you forget everything. So I feel truly sorry imagining that you have to suffer so much if you go to hell. So please, you turn now. I will be your friend. I do all I can to lift you up, to take you home where you be safe and loved and respected as a dignified child of God that you are. Tens of thousands of animals rescued in northern China from November 2019 to January 2020. Various animal activists and rescue groups, five animal sanctuaries from across the country, a Tibetan Buddhist master, Han Buddhist monks, as well as many more caring people, all teamed up to save animals from livestock raising facilities, fur markets, and slaughterhouses. The kind souls raised funds to help free the animals and found suitable homes for them. More than 40,000 foxes, cows, horses, donkeys, dogs, cats, rabbits, snakes, crabs, and other animals were rescued. In the process of the liberation operation, the rescuers spoke with the hundreds of owners engaged in meat production. As such, many understood the detrimental karmic consequences of their actions, with several resolving to change careers. <laughs> Supreme Master Ching Hai tearfully offer in heaven's love 100,000 US dollars to help this noble endeavor of saving our precious animal friends. With all love and heartfelt gratitude, may Buddha forever bless and shield you, yours and all the treasured beings you have rescued. There are not enough words to express my love, thankfulness and overflowed gladdened heart for such greatness. Heavens will love you and bless you multifold forever. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for Hare's compassion and love toward Hare's precious children.
Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your safe position, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. St. Peter, Vegetarian, Holy Bible. If we all you turn now and place our trust in the power of the Christ who is here with us today, we won't have to witness all these frightful prophecies come true, as St. Peter noted in his letter. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty.在九阿姨地震的时候我爸爸就马上下地狱Once when he was seriously ill, 20-year-old Xiao Yuan met one of our fellow initiates who told him that he could recite the name of Supreme Master Ching Hai should he run into grave danger. That night, Xiao Yuan was on the verge of death and could clearly see two ghastly ghosts dragging him by the feet to a horrifying hell. They tried to thrust him into a giant guillotine while he struggled and resisted with all his might. At this critical moment, Master's holy name flashed across his mind. Even before he managed to finish reciting her name, a golden light appeared and carried him through many dark obstacles before finally returning to an extremely beautiful realm. Xiao Yuan woke up and found himself surrounded by many wide-eyed doctors who were dumbfounded by the miracle that had brought the dead back to life. Afterwards, he remained in good health, switched to a vegan diet, and before long, began following Master to practice spiritually. Etc. We pray that more and more people will find safety in Christ's unconditional, awesome redeeming power, whether or not they believe, as we in our association believe, and experience insight that Supreme Master Ching Hai and Lord Jesus Christ are wondrously one and the same. Both are the merciful manifestations of the all-powerful Tim Kotu whose name means the loved Lord of all worlds. We are forever grateful for the most beloved Tim Kutu's love, forgiveness and patience towards humans, which go far above and beyond our world. Also, our thankfulness goes to the venerated Saint Peter for his loving words of caution that are so timely for us today. May our world be rescued. May all beings be freed from suffering and may we all hasten to the refuge of divine grace and truly live as children of God. For more in-depth prophecies about Lord Jesus Christ and related evidence of their fulfillment today, please refer to our show archives of this series at suprememastertv.com forward slash ap. 
Thank you, brave viewers, for joining us today.